So as you can see here, we're set to heat, call for heat. It's 58 in here. We're asking for 68, but it's nothing's happening. Actually, nope, the fan does not come on. Put it back to auto. So let's go see what's wrong. So this unit right here is a electric unit. This is not a gas furnace. And the way you can tell this is an electric unit is that at the very bottom, there's a uh, main switch to turn off the furnace. So the bottom part right here is the furnace. The top part is where the uh, evaporator uh, coil for the AC is at. Um, since this is electric and it is on since this is switched to on let's recycle it real quick so it's not turning it on let's go check out the circuit breaker so here's the circuit breaker and this is where the furnace is at um, as I push on this a little bit, I, I feel a little bit give. So it looks like this is tripped. So let's recycle it real quick. And let's go back to the furnace. So I'm back at the furnace, and right now you can hear the blower running. And I'm going to check the heat to see if the heat comes on. So that looks like a very quick fix. So I'm going to turn off the furnace and open up uh, the panel to see what might be possibly causing the breaker to pop open. So let's turn this off. Now the furnace doesn't have power going to it. So there are four screws for this panel. You can see the panel comes out. One, two, down here. Three, four. So as we can see here in this unit after the panel is off, the top part is the fan. That's the capacitor for the fan. It's very, it's rusted out. It looks like there's a little bit of corrosion on the side. Of course we're going to test that capacitor. If that capacitor is bad, that means that the fan isn't running efficiently and it could cause to draw a little more current than normal. Here is the schematic. I'll take a picture of that in a second and study it a little bit. And here is the furnace. Um, so a couple of things uh, around here. So you can see the uh, control wires to go to the furnace comes from here goes through this hole along with the power um, and if you follow the, uh, the brown wire you can see where it connects down there you can see the furnace sequencers right there and the high temperature switches right there so first let's uh, at least check to make sure that there's no more power going to this unit um, even though I already switched off the breaker, uh, I'm going to go ahead and switch these two off and let's just measure the leads on the bottom where the power comes in and make sure that there's no power. And as you can see, it's zero volts. So next, since I want to test the capacitor, I'm going to remove it. so that I can identify the capacitance and I'm going to re remove it from the leads and it doesn't matter how it connects so um, as you can see right here it says this is a 15 microfarad MFD so I want to measure 15 on here and before I do so I also want to discharge the capacitor uh, with something metal um, just touch both leads right here and it's already fully discharged um, next I just want to connect to my digital multimeter uh, to check the capacitance and 
what I have set up so far is these two are going to both the red and uh, black uh, probe wires right there and then I have it's set to capacitance and right here it says it's 14.4 microfarads so even though it looks all rusty uh, this capacitor is still within a, a good tolerance since I know the capacitor is good I'm just going to put this back on connect the wires back together Next thing I want to check is if there's any burnt or melted wires and I don't see any of that. Um, after that I want to see if there's any corrosions on the wire and I also don't see any of that present. It actually it looks very clean and clear. Um, uh, I'm going to go ahead and test uh, the sequencers and the uh, high limit switches and make sure that they're short but it shouldn't even matter uh, everything um, seems to be fine uh, the, fan, the blower and the blower is very clean and it doesn't make any odd sounds it's very, very it sounds like a normal operation so I believe that this furnace is fine and I think what needs to be replaced is the circuit breaker so I took off the panel I turned off the main and that's the furnace. I checked it. the voltage. There's no more voltage. It's on off. Now I'm going to remove it. So as I was uh, removing the screws, I realized that, as you can see, right here, circled in red, that uh, it's uh, uh, has this white corrosion all over it. Um, I've, I'm pretty sure the circuit breaker needs to be replaced. So now I have both wires out and I'm going to pop this this unit out. There we go. So after I took this unit out it's really hot and once again as you can see the corrosion in there. So here's a new replacement one and all I'm going to do is just put it in. go and just put back the wires in the right place okay and then just tie it down all right here we go here we go